from Curacao, Rui Winkler. And it's easy to see why he won the People's Champion from a year ago. Roley travels the world and does everything. He sells out on the stage, going out in the audience to please the fans. Third place was his best finish last year here at the Mr. Olympia. Tumbled a couple of spots in March at the Arnold Classic, had a knee injury. Then he went on the guest posing circuit, and we saw glimpses of the future that Roley was gonna bring us. But last night, Tim, we noticed that he was a little bit watery. Neil, did you see the same? Yeah, that wasn't the best of what we've seen of uh, Roley Winkler. I think the best I've seen of Roley was last year's Mr. Olympia. Yes. Um, I feel he's made some improvements since yesterday. He looks harder to me. But is it enough? We just have to wait and see as he starts transitioning. You're not reading that properly. 5'6", 297. He's actually about 5'6 and a half and 297 pounds. <laughs> I mean, he is a, he's a beast. They call him the beast because he carries so much muscle. But yeah, you're right, Neil. He's a little bit flat. He's a little bit watery. Uh, I got word that Roley actually sustained a, a hamstring injury only a week ago. And anything to do with injury changes and alters the way you approach the weights overall and uh, most notably the midsection is a little bit more watery and the back is watery but those arms are signature arms they're not going to go down and he did get a lot better control with the midsection uh, from years past I gotta say at five six and a half 297 <laughs> we, we talked about it in the opening how some guys at that height and weight are just blocks of cartoon muscle right and he maintained some beautiful lines and some different that waist is a little smaller that shoulder back ratio is a little better he just puts together a really nice patch the package considering it's that darn big yeah well he's leaps and bounds from when he actually earned his pro card he won the arnold classic amateur uh, and then he went on to win over in kuwait he's won over in finland Arnold Classic out in Australia. He knows how to win, and I believe he also knew that he was not 100% coming into this show. But nonetheless, it looked like from yesterday, Neil, he's going to be in that top four. He's fighting for that top four spot. Definitely in the top four, obviously, between William, Rowley, Hadi, and Brandon. That is where they are going to be battling out. Can you imagine, Tim, competing, knowing you're off, and you still have a chance to be the top four in the world Give well it up for the beast truly weakler we're gonna see